Greetings, everyone, and welcome back to my cybersecurity show where we are working our way through Port Swigger's Web Security Academy Apprentice Labs. So if you're working your way through that, hopefully this is helpful for you there. You know, I kind of want to make some more beginner friendly stuff. So that's what we're doing. And today, well, we've got ourselves a doozy. All sorts of bad things are happening in this specific lab, which is user role controlled. That's like a tongue twister. User role controlled. User role controlled by request parameter. Lots of R's going on in there. But ultimately what else is going on there is a lot of not good things if this was your actual web application, right? Because it says right here that this lab has an admin panel at forward slash admin. This identifies administrators using a forgeable cookie. Rut row raggy, that's no good. Solve the lab by accessing the admin panel and using it to delete the user Carlos. Oh, our, our worthy foe, Mr. Carlos, is back yet again, and we need to delete him from our system. It says that we can log into our own account using the following creds, which is... <laughs> okay, uh, Wiener and Peter. And for you non-English speaking, uh, or at least native uh, English speakers, that is a play on words that I'll just leave it there. I didn't write, this is not me. I support Swigger being a bunch of a tomfoolery going on there. Oh, you kooks over there at Port Swigger. All right, so what do we do? Well, we got to access that admin panel uh, by logging in with our creds. And I've already got it uh, fired up here. And of course, I've already tried to go to the admin panel, which is right there and take a look at that. So, and as you can see, I got this lovely little error. Actually, you might not be able to see that. It's kind of tiny. It says the admin interface is only available if logged in as an administrator. Well, I'm able to go to places like my accounts and you can see that my username is Wiener. Man, the, the, we, we, we are children, aren't we? We never grow up. We, we just hit seventh grade and that's about as far as we ever mature. But I'm not, I'm not complaining. It's true. True for this guy too. But that said, how do we, how do we manipulate that? Because I want to go to that admin panel, right? That's the whole idea. I want to go to this admin panel at slash admin. And then I want to delete old Carlos. I want to 86 Carlos out of here. All right, so a couple ways in which we can go about this. I, I like to go with the easiest lift out of the gate, which is going to be our dev tools. So shift control I if you're a Firefox user and you'll notice I'm in the storage area, right? In the storage tab. So at the top of your of your tools or if you're running um, Chrome, they'll be down the, the right hand side uh, by default. But in there, you'll notice we have an area that says cookies. And if I remember correctly, which I do believe I do, it says that there is a forgeable cookie, right? This might even be like an indirect or a direct IDOR, right? Insecure direct object reference. I always have to say IDOR first to get that. I don't know. That's me. Whatever. And uh, so here is a cookies. And there is a lot going on in here. There's a couple things going on. Specifically... Can I not move that? Come on now. All right, it's going to be that way. We've got the name, we've got the value, we've got the domain, we've got the path, when it expires, the size, and HTTP only, and so on and so forth, right? But really what's important here is you'll notice that in this section right around here, you'll see it says admin. And it has a value of false. You notice when I double click on that, it kind of highlights it. You wouldn't think that I could just, oh, I can type that in. And I can just type true because if admin equals false and I make it true and it saves that and that's the cookie is now modified or forgeable as they said. Oh yeah, hit enter and now it is saved or at least it seems to be. Let's go back up here and let's just see if this works. Get out of the way. Actually, I can just close these, I guess. And let's just re- Visit the page. Oh, look, I'm at the admin panel. I did the thing I want to do. And there's that dirty stinking Carlos right there. We won't delete him just yet. Because obviously 
we've won the game. I mean, this this is simple, right? This is the kind of thing you're looking for. Uh, and a lot of times this does happen in uh, the real world where you have someone that made a web application and they're basically through like the URL or like a parameter in the URL or in a cookie or something like that. Something that you as an end user normally don't see or don't uh, think to go look for because if it's in the URL, you can, you can obviously see it, but if it's in a cookie or something like that being passed along as, as, as um, data, and then you can, you can manipulate that. Well, <laughs> that's not something you should be able to do. That's wrong. That's, that's no bueno, right? No, we don't like that. No, do that. And that is what's going on here. So that's why I'm now able to hit this Carlos delete. Now that's using the dev tools, right? Uh, like I said, I like the lowest barrier to entry and that's, that's a pretty straightforward win right there, but it is port swigger. So I'd assume they want you to kind of know about using burp suite as well. I've already got burp running. I'm on the proxy tab under the HTTP history. And I can see all these things are happening here now. If I hit this, you can see that right there, it does say admin equals true, right? Because it's saving the parameter that we pass along. But if we go back, where's the, uh, come on there. Whoa, I am, I'm doing crazy stuff. Let's try this again. So grab scroll bars and I will, oh, I see what's happening. There we go. It's only grabbing that. Okay, weird. Um, there it is. This is a good one. This will be fine. You'll notice here, I just grabbed the first uh, page that it grabbed, that it that it recorded. And uh, under here, it says admin is false. Now, if this was if this was a clean slate here and we had not manipulated that before, that's exactly what this would look like. And what I would do at this point is just right click, send to repeater or use control R. I know a lot of people get really handy with the hotkeys. Old habits die hard. I'll, that's all I'm going to say. And if I run this, if I send that request, uh, it's going to give me the same thing because that's the wrong page. Let's change this page to not my account, but let's go to admin and send that. Right? And you'll notice I got that 401 unauthorized right there. And if we scroll all the way down, I believe it says right here, admin interface. Only, I'm going to kind of move this over. There we go. Uh, only available if logged in as an administrator. So we were getting that same area, uh, error. And of course, if again, this was the beginning of the lab, I would just come in here with Burp Suite, capture that request, send it to the repeater, go to the admin page, back that false statement off and call it true because you be apparently believe whatever I tell you and hit send. And then from there, I get a 200 OK, which means everything went fine. And of course, if I scroll all the way down to the bottom, I can see now I have uh, admin delete username Wiener and admin delete username Carlos. And these are uh, href references, which are links. And you'll notice that they are linking to the delete button. And at this point, I would be able to well, actually from here, I would just kind of grab that and, and go there. But uh, I, we could do that. Let's do it. I'll grab this. This endpoint, copy, run back to here, and just slap that there, right there. I, I think I got the whole thing. Just slap this up here in my URL, control V. Yeah. There we go. This is delete Carlos. Hit it. Fire and forget. And look, lab solved. Congratulations, we have solved the lab. Well, this was fun. And hopefully you, you get the idea. If you're doing like bug bounties and stuff, this is the kind of stuff you really are looking for, right? If you're doing a web app pen test, you're looking for those areas and you're like, how the heck does that even happen? I mean, that seems simple. It, it is simple, but it does happen. And it happens because you forget. A lot of devs will build things and like just turn everything like make it easy to to kind of bounce through because you got to test your app does it do all the things you think it should do and the easy button is to you know not obfuscate those things not hide those things not push them away or not put them inside of like cookies or look did i, did I put that in a cookie because it's easier just to have a cookie with that running and when i need to you get the idea and then they forget when they push it to production it happens
It's our job as security people. Find those things. Let them know, hey, you probably want to fix that because it's not going to be good for your website. So there you go. This was fun. Thanks for joining me in another one of our Port Swigger. And uh, until next time, because we will be a next time, keep hacking. <laughs>